Uh, welcome to Code of the Lamb. Uh, I have no clue what the fuck this game is. I'm also not streaming it live because this is currently only the demo. So I wanted to see what it was like before I did stream it. If the game does come out August 11th. Let's just hop right into it. Let's see how it goes. I know nothing about this game. I've seen nothing. I've heard nothing. I literally... Well, I've seen a little bit, but, like, not anything to inform me. I've just seen people play it, is all. So, I've, I, I, I don't know what to expect, really. I really don't. I love the art style, and that really, that's really what, that really is what brought me towards it. Kneel to be sacrificed. The forest stands the last of its kind. All others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned. I love, I just love speaking. That's my favorite thing is speaking because I can definitely do it well. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. Okay, then. Come closer. Fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need for you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is that you start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't see any consequence behind that. Nothing can go wrong. Okay, X to attack, B to dodge roll. Simple, simple roguelike mechanics. This music is amazing. Again, I love the art style. And we're just right into it. That, that's it, we're just right into it. Fear not, I am Radu. Ra Ratu? Radu? Radu, I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Okay. I don't know why there's X's on the ground. Okay, there's spikes. If I stand on them for too long, they come up and stab me. I have one coin. I have... Two coins. I really do not know what to expect from this game. I'm hoping it's something I enjoy. Because I would love to have another game to play in my off time. Because right now, all I have is really... I only have a few games to play. So something new would not be... This is like a secret. What about this over here? Is it a secret? I, I really don't have a lot to play in my off time, so this would be something really cool. What is this? 
Nothing? Alright, cool. Can I go back? Alright, only forward. We have, we have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them. They have no choice but to join your new cult. Our mighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? You have sacrificed your last souls. I shall put a stop to you today. Creatures of the Abyss? I don't know what the fuck these are. What's up, dude? Cool. I just kidnapped someone. We have reached safety. You have done well. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen a ruin. There you'll be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. From what I know, it's a roguelike city builder, kinda. But I could be wrong in that statement. This hollowed ground, which once was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. You're going to be a lumber boy. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Your name is going to be... Algilar. Ah, we're gonna keep you how you look. Yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna keep you. Heals 50% faster when sick in bed rest. 50% easier to level up. Minus 5 faith when a follower is sacrificed. Can I change that? Alright, cool. You're now part of the cult. You are going to collect lumber. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Now, the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Alright, I, I think I'm right with my statement. City Builder, Dungeon Crawler. This music's a banger. Grab some berries, because I feel like I'm going to need those at some point. Craft a cooking fire. Uh, put it right there. Followers need to eat, and it's up to you to provide meals for them. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. When this gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Find more food while compensating. Pick routes that pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or, or found while crusading. Uh, how do I build a farm? I have berries. Or can I not? Oh, I need more berries. Grab a few more. I'll just cook. Now, we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more gold, both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. 
Our mutual benefactor, the old one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the old faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds them to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so that he may be freed. Now go, there you shall find gold and willing recruits. For those who are not willing, convert them by force. Alright. Fuck this tree. Return to the lands of the old face and kill Abmudius. At, at, at... Amducius? I think it's Amducius. Here godly blood was spilled. Here did death no longer wish to wait. Okay. Any more followers to go through these doors? Here's where it starts. Damage 2.4, speed 0.5, chance to deal critical hit when attacking enemies. Devastating melee attack that may charge for increased power. Do I get both or just one? Entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy, those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. Uh, let's try the Merciless Axe. Oh, and I get both. Cool. Fervor is the righteous anger earned by striking down non-believers and works like ammunition for your curses. Fervor will drop when you slay an enemy, collecting it refills your curses. Okay. This axe is super slow. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm more of a fast-paced weapon weaponry guy. I'm already taking damage. Let's go. Okay, I'm not doing I'm not doing the best. Ooh, which way do I go? This way has stars. Let's go this way. Claw neck. Praise the lamb. Conduit to great power. Promised liberator of the one that waits below. So the card showed me. Once many lifetimes ago. Or has that yet to be? I've always drawn your cards, lamb. And yet this is the first. Take these cards and I'll draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards, they shall decide. Plus one... I'm assuming that's a soul heart type thing, because it's not red. Or 10% chance to deal critical hit. Uh, I'm losing hearts, so let's just do critical hits. All is as should be, as it ever was, as it always will be. Okay. Oh, and I see my map up in the top right. I just now noticed that. I'm really not a fan of this axe, if I'm going to be 100% honest. I, I, I'm not a fan of low-paced weaponry. Okay, by the time they're glowing, it means they're about to attack. Which means I shouldn't be charging up an attack to fight them. We have lumber on the right. I want to know what that is. That looks kind of cool. Deceased heart or tarot card? Uh, I think deceased heart is I 
Whenever I get hit, I do damage to the room. I think I saw it when I was inspecting the tarot cards earlier. But it could be something completely different. But let's see. Never mind, it's just another type of heart. Maybe that maybe maybe that's like a black heart from like Isaac or something. Whenever it gets depleted, it damages the room. Let's go to the left. I wanted to see what this was. Lose red heart, gain deceased heart. Oh, so now I have three deceased hearts, but only two red hearts. Alright, it's gonna take a while, but I think I think I might be getting used to the game. I definitely think there's gonna be secrets at some point. What is going on? How can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb, as all your kind were, and yet you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be? But I'm stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. I'll mess you up, dude. I will say I'm collecting a lot of things. There we go, another tarot card. Curses consume 25% less fervor, one attacking 10% chance, one attack 10% chance of negating damage. I'm gonna, yep, I'm gonna grab that. Invoke a violent eruption of powerful tentacles. Chance of poisoning enemies when attacking. I'm assuming this is not a two times thing. Yeah, I only get one. Try something new. And that's instant, because the other one wasn't instant. Alright, 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 alright. I'm assuming this is a boss battle now? We're looking at the symbol. It seems like attacking may cancel their attacks. I am loving this game. Okay, yeah, so whenever... Alright, whenever I get hit with a deceased heart, it damages them. But the deceased hearts are only temporary. This thing is so slow. You've come far enough, little lamb. My followers don't want to do anything for me. Can you say the same as yours? I give myself to the cause, almighty leader. By the bloods of the great ones, destroy the red crown. This ain't too bad. Look at that, he's already dead. Already dead, just like that. Please spare me. Confirm me to your cult. I'll follow your teachings faithfully. Gold, berries, or lumber? I'm gonna say gold. Uh, can I open my map? Start. No. D pad just moves. Triggers. Alright, I'm pretty sure I missed something up here. 
Alright, I just can't go that way. That's the demo. Honestly... Honestly, not that bad. I, I, I really can't wait for this game to come out tomorrow. Yeah, this is gonna be a shorter video. Well, not really, but... Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I can't wait to play this game.